Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, or welcome to another Bangs Audio Review. I thought I was going to do this uh, EPZ accessory overview yesterday, but I had my first physical therapy session, so uh, I was a little sore after that, so it didn't happen. Anyway, um, good stuff, though. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape coming, you know, six weeks out of surgery now. Uh, definitely on the right track, definitely, like, healing up as expected. Uh, and PT and the pool are going to be kind of a big part of that recovery process. So glad to get started. Um, it's not always fun, but it is necessary. So anyway, apologies. Here we are today now, uh, Thursday, October 24th, 2024. Um, and I just wanted to go over a couple of what I think are really, really nice values from EPZ. Now, disclaimer, okay. The M100 tips, small, medium, and large, and TP11, TP12 were sent to me by EPZ for review. For review, I can't say that word anymore. For review, and um, the TP30 was purchased by me with my own money. So, all that being said, obviously, thoughts and opinions uh, are my own on this, and uh, and you will be getting the straight stuff for it. So. Um, Let's start out with the ear tips because I think that these were the toughest for me to um, sort of analyze, and I'll tell you why. Uh, they I couldn't get a seal, and it it is my ears. Um, they tend to have trouble getting seals with um, some of the more conical shaped versus cylindrical shaped uh, ear tips. And even though I had small, medium, and large, and I did try the large in the left, medium in the right, as my ear canals are different sizes, um, I wasn't able to really get a great fit or seal with them. Now, I was able to get a full seal, and I can attest to the fact that they do sound quite good and quite neutral. They're uh, sort of a normal to wide bore. Let's see if I can bring this up for you. A little bit on the wide side, right? Those look like about the same bore width as um, Osla Crystal tips, actually. And they have more in common with the um, Osla Crystal tips than not. It's just that the the Osla tips actually fit me, and these don't. Um, when I was able to get a seal on them, it was more like a sort of a floaty, not-too-stable feel with it. And so for me, for like day-to-day -day use, and long listening sessions, um, I couldn't really get down with them uh, just because I never felt like that seal was going to actually stay. And we all know how important the seal is. Outside of my personal issues, um, at uh, 10 bucks for a set of three, and I'll link the AliExpress official, or it's the EPZ official store on AliExpress for you. Um, that's three bucks a piece. That's a really nice value for what I think are they're very high quality um, in construction and they are like just that slightly tacky uh, not full on tacky but slightly like they're grippy so they're gonna stay they're gonna stay put that was probably the saving grace for me actually is that they're a little bit grippy um, they are gonna stay put once you get them in and you're probably your fit issues won't be my fit issues so I would say they're worth picking up a pair uh, they do seem to be sized pretty accurately uh, as, as far as small, medium, and large goes, so I would say you can order it safely with the size you normally wear. Um, and yeah, they I, I think that they're nice tips. Unfortunately, I just was not able to utilize them very much, very often. I did try them on several different sets of earphones, so, you know, I got a good idea of how they sound. They sound good. They're neutral, they're transparent, um, and definitely don't close in any said sound stage or head state stage on you due to the fact that they're wider bore. So I can recommend those. I just wish I could use them. That would be, it would be easier to like give them a highly recommended uh, if I could actually use them. But you know, some people out there might have the same fit issues that I do. Far as the dongles go, um, I've got nothing but good things to say about these. These guys are, let's see here inexpensive so same or less as your um, like Apple dongle not as cheap as some of the knockoffs that you can get 
on Amazon or Ali for like you know three four five bucks but um, the difference is on these guys is that the construction is superior um, finishes terminations uh, are excellent this is the TP 11 which goes for about 12 bucks um, it's also nice to have a little bit longer cable at the connection point than your standard Apple dongle because you know, sometimes it's just nice to have another couple of inches depending on how tall you are and how far down in your pocket your phone or player is so I'll, I'll give them kudos for adding a little length there um, but yeah they they sounded crisp clean clear uh, no interference no no noise they're obviously the background is black um, and just really like a nice amount of power um, coming out of the laptop I guess that maybe isn't a fair thing but um, as far as like the TP12 went, which is the lightning version, um, I had no issues driving any earphones with them, with it. So TP12 is going to run you closer to 16 or 17. Um, yeah, same construction. Now, one thing I will have to say about this, and this is why I like really like highly recommend this particular deck if you want to stay inexpensive and you've got an older iPhone the connection on this is solid like as solid as the channeling L3 cable that I you know obviously like a lot so if this is the land you are in and you don't care about 4.4 balanced and you don't care about having you know extra power or anything like that um, I can definitely highly recommend this over the uh, standard Apple one um, as far as their uh, DAC chips go, this is actually the, the Apple DAC chip implemented, um, so it is actually Apple in there. Um, although I feel like this gets louder and stays cleaner and clearer than the Apple dongle does, so I feel like it is an upgrade. Even though it's the same DAC chip, it just sounds better for some reason, and I did do that head-to-head. -head. And then this is the Connexent um, DAC chip in this one, which I think you find in a lot of inexpensive dongle DACs, but whatever they did to implement it I think they did an excellent job um, and I can definitely give these a highly recommended especially considering their price if you're on a budget you know you're you're in like uh, value land like up to like say fifty dollars with your earphones you're not gonna have any issues driving them and having them sound good with either of these dongles depending on if you need you know the iPhone version or the USB-C version um, they're really good they're really good they're really good values nothing but good things to say about them actually and then lastly all of these will be linked I will link the EPZ official store on Ali and then give the product links for each of these in case you're interested in picking them up they will be unaffiliated of course the last one, and this is my favorite of the bunch, of course, because I like a little power, the EPZ TP30. Now, it's gold, and it is quite handsome. It has SaberDax in it, and it does decode up to 32-bit uh, 768 and DSD 512. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, if you like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty serious little piece of equipment. Uh, I did obviously do like the comps with the uh, Onyx Alpha 11T1, and uh, I don't think I had the Dunu DTC at the time that I did that sort of overview video. But this was like this was in my recommended grouping, you know, versus a couple of the others which weren't, um, because I feel like it provides a, definitely a nice amount of power. Uh, let's see, the chips are ES9038Q2M, so they're pretty pretty recent uh, pretty late model DAC chips in there I'll see if I can get the power rating on these uh, will they give it to me no I'm gonna have to scroll down that's okay I'll scroll down while we're scrolling down I will continue blabbing about it construction is solid um, it's a little bit weighty but that's okay the uh, the coating uh, the gold coating uh, does definitely like you know get get scratched it's kind of hard to avoid that because if this is actual gold plating gold is a softer metal so it's gonna do that um, but really honestly like it doesn't look, I don't think it looks too bad what do you guys think I think it's after several months of use I think it's holding up pretty well 
you've got your 4.4 balanced and your 3.5 single ended and then there's your input as a USB-C let's see here output power at 32 ohms you've got 125 milliwatts that doesn't seem right impedance 32 ohms DSD 256 oh high gain that's right it gets it gets high gain if you hold down plus and minus volume there's your volume rocker individual buttons if you hold those guys down it will go into high gain mode so at that uh, for VRMS max in high gain that's similar to some of the other dongle decks we've done recently and OTP 30 details here we go this is this is more like it all right 125 milliwatts at 32 ohms frequency response 20 Hertz to 48 kilohertz and let's see it goes to DSD 512 yeah I wish they would just give me the power on the high output setting but they don't maybe if I scroll down a little bit further they will that's because they've got the TP20 here uh, on the same product page so it's a lot of scrolling to get down to where we need to be here we go okay 270 milliwatts is your max output at 32 ohms on the balanced so there you go that's what I wanted to get to so it's not as powerful as the Onyx Alpha or the Dunu DTC 800 or even the um, Muse Hi-Fi M3 Mark II uh, but I think that it is powerful enough certainly to power um, any of your earphones without a problem and uh, does not submit to that Sabre glare that used to be a problem I guess with uh, Sabre DAC chips if anything I feel like the treble on this is just a touch softer than the Cirrus chips so if you're treble sensitive this could be a better option than either of the other two that I really like in the DTC 800 and the Onyx Alpha because it is a little bit softer up top doesn't affect the stage so much just takes a little bit of that um, you know sort of not piercing but that little bit of the brightness off the top uh, in my opinion with this particular one so what is our price here $57 oh, you could do a lot worse for 57 bucks let me tell you hold on hold on that's TP20 type C <sighs> that's my only complaint I wish that they would have just separated these guys okay so it is 87 yeah it's 90 bucks looks like it's currently out of stock on the EPC official, official site as well so you may have to look elsewhere to find it um, I would recommend doing your very best because I think I only paid like 58 for this it was like on a super deal or big sale or something if you can find it for let's say between 60 and 70 bucks 60 and 75 bucks it's definitely a highly recommended if it gets up towards 100 like it is right now then you're getting into the territory of my preferred DAX the DTC 800 and the Onyx Alpha so in that case I think it kinda of runs up against it technical performance is not at the level of either of those two but it is gold it does look really nice so yeah it gets a recommend highly recommended if you can get it for under 75 bucks um, which I did somehow anyway there we go there's our EPZ overview um, I'll see if I can find a store that has this in stock and link that in the product or link that product uh, for you in the description it may it may be on its way out I know that there's the TP 35 that has come out recently so um, let me check into that a little bit if it's unavailable my apologies um, but you might want to just wait for the TP 35 anyway could be uh, could be a little bit better so we'll see all right little uh, little accessories video for you um, if you check the community you'll see that uh, I, I am gonna do it I am gonna mall walk with the Moondrop Venus with my GoPro on and see what kind of reactions we can get at the height of shopping and holiday season maybe not Black Friday but sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas to subject myself to ridicule for y'all's entertainment should be kind of fun so anyway Keep your eyes peeled for updates on that. I will give you plenty of warning when that's going to happen and take requests for the playlist that everybody's going to be able to hear because they're open backs. All right, cool. 
Um, Meze 99s might be next, I think. Uh, my buddy's got a care package that's arriving today, but I won't have any time in on those sets, so I think I've kind of put it off long enough. I think it's time to do the Meze 99 Classics and the Boom Mic for the next review. Until then, be careful, be safe, be nice. Love y'all. Nothing but peace to you. We'll see you.